I hope it's working. Yes, it is. Okay. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jonathan Gamer here. Welcoming you back to another episode of Saga Log. Hopefully, y'all are having a wonderful day. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Um, Last episode, we took on... Honestly, I kind of forgot. Um, Oh, yeah. we went, The Cinefog. Apparently, it was literally not that big of an issue. Because I don't remember it in the slightest. <laughs> Surprise. Um, The last episode, we went and took on... Uh, what did we take on? Uh, like I said, the fog. We dealt with a bunch of different things. I honestly, it was such a blur, and I want to prevent it from being such a blur. Because <laughs> if it's such a blur, that means that I was just going and not thinking or doing anything, and that's really bad. So, um, this episode we got. Um, we had a, uh, sad kill, and I had to train up a little bit. So, let's show off the team. We have Babe with the careful nature, no guard, low kick, heal order, and magma storm, and will-o'-wisp. We got Ernesto with their lax nature with a runaway, tail glow, air slash, bug buzz, and U-turn. We have stupid crow with the sad normalized ability that we've actually been making work really well and i'm very proud because dark void chatter arrow blast and cut and then we have lucario the jolly nature fur it with volt absorb as an ability rapid spin strength judge of mint and smelling salts then a new esque member to the squad Brittany, our new two seven uh, with the mild nature, my law tick with own tempo as an ability. Octazuka, water, water jet. Yep, water jet. You know that's what it is now. Fly and hydro pump, and then we have the newest member of the party, and it's not on the layout on purpose. Deck on the sassy nature, clear body, toxic croak with jump kick, bulk up, poison fang, and toxic. Now, you may be sitting here wondering you had a slacking, you had a wonder guard, like Sogalock first. Why aren't you adding those two mods to the team? And that is for the sole purpose and sole reason of the fact that I didn't want to get through this game easily. You guys more than likely will not have an opportunity to kill a Pokemon anymore. And if you do, you have an opportunity to kill one more right before the Elite Four. So, like, if I'm having a broken Pokemon, I'd rather have the broken Pokemon for the one section of episodes, like, where it's, like, two to four episodes, rather than having it for a solid ten episodes and just trucking through with it, like, nobody cares and, like, I just wanted to make sure that it looked nice and everything was nice. Um, and personally, we were evolving Brittany. And I wanted Brittany to be more of a mainstay, too. Because it was, like, we had Brittany for so long as a Feebas. And for Brittany not to have time to shine ever would have been, like, just super ridiculously sad. And I don't know. I don't think I would have been able to handle it very well. So, that was the decision that was made. Um, I hope that you guys aren't too upset by the decision. Eh, well, we m I might be upset by the decision because I think we just lost Lucario. No, it's only level 29. But. I don't know. Let me know what your decision is. Also, Dakon has been an amazing supporter as of recent. And as much as Greenbird's fun and a meme, and we love our boy Greenbird. Wonder Guard. The other, the other thing too, um, was the simple fact that adding Greenbird to the team would have added four weaknesses, right? So, in Pokemon, you have obviously weaknesses. Blah blah blah. Uh, I don't need to explain it because I just feel like it's self-explanatory. So, if I would have added our Wonder Guard, we would have had a. Four Pokemon weak to electric, because water is also weak to electric. So we would have had Ernesto. We would have had Normalize 2-Bit. We would have had 
Zatu, and we would have had Milotic all week to Electric. And that just would have been horrific, I think, team-wise and team-building-wise. I was not as worried about Rock because, well, we have Brittany now. Brittany can actually do stuff and is actually part of the team, which is lovely, to say the least. So that I can be like, yeah, Brittany's a thing. Like, Brittany is grown up. She's out of her awkward teen phases and now, you know, manages. So, or, well, let's say I hope she manages as, manages as, as yeah, yep, that's, that's the word. Um, so, yeah, so it's like, I sit here and I contemplate, um, like, entertainment, right? Because, like, obviously, it's like, well, the what? It doesn't make sense. Then I look, like I said, electric... Um, a lot of people would tell me, well, electric, that isn't a problem because you have the ability to utilize uh, Lucario. Sorry for the us. Um, so because you have the ability to lose, utilize Lucario for the electric air, like immunity, is that a, not a problem? Yeah, no, exactly. So electric doesn't become a problem. So what is the things that are flying is also weak to? Ice, rock... And electric are the main three. I can't. I know there's more. It's just not coming to me at the current moment. But rock, ice, electric. Those are the three things that a flying type is weak to. Um. So I looked at Dacon and saw oh fighting type that takes care of rock and ice. It gives me another counter for rock. Um, cause like I said, like we all said, Brittany does have the ability to deal with it. It's not a hundred percent like, but it is another Pokemon that can deal with it. And then we have ice, which we do not have, um, coverage for, except for with babe. Like our team is very coverage heavy. And like, I'm not saying that like, that's a bad thing because that is not a bad thing whatsoever to have our team have coverage because then it's like, oh, it's Pokemon for you. Like the team is actually well thought out and balanced like and that was something that was uh prided upon and something when i asked like what you guys wanted in episode 101 um you guys said you wanted the team to feel balanced and you didn't want the team to be like oh this pokemon just wins it ha 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 which makes sense on an entertainment value standpoint because i would be bored af watching somebody just rummage through with a wonder guard pokemon like so I'm totally for that. And I wanted I, I wanted to make sure that I chose this choice to exemplify the fact that I'm listening and that I'm for you as well. And because I really like Toxicrobe. So like the selfish region, the, the selfish re the selfish reason is I like Toxicroak. <laughs> The unselfish reason is, well, you know, you guys said you wanted balance. This is a great way to exactly do what you guys wanted me to do. So it's a win-win, and we love the win-wins. So, yeah, I, I am proud of what transpired and how it transpired. Like, yes, killing Roll sucks, right? I, I'm sad that I lost Roll, of course, because we loved our boy Roll. But also, if this is going to help make things better and do better, make me help me do better then yeah frick it by roll like <laughs> honestly <clears throat> um i said i was gonna take two on, on two gyms and um i was silly and yeah uh i need to buy potions for that <laughs> i don't have the ability to do that because unlike hardcore because i'm actually doing a hardcore nuzlocke now and uh yeah, so basically in a hardcore Nuzlocke, the added rules is you have to play on set, you have to not be able to heal, and you have a hard, a strict hard level cap. So, I already play with the level cap, right? In these games, I play with it uh, up until like Gen 7. Gen 7 is so muddled that it's like, how do you even play with a level cap in Gen 7? But, oh, I'm not paying attention. 3 plus 5 plus 7 is 15. Okay. So, yeah. So, it's like, it's hard. Because I'm like, I don't know how to do that. So, that's why I'm doing Gen 7. Because it's fun to kind of see and test and figure out how things go. Um, But, yeah. In Generation 1 through 7 plus 8. <laughs> that's how I play the game anyway. 
is with that level cap, so it doesn't phase me. Set mode, I'm learning. I don't mind it. Like, per personally speaking, I am not a fan, nor am I uh, somebody who doesn't care. It's like, I don't know what's going on with this, but like, no, yeah, I'm like, I don't, it's not that I don't care, and it it's not that it's a problem either. So yeah, I'll be curious to see how I enjoy set mode and how I utilize set mode going into the future. But I am enjoying the fact that I don't can't have can't heal and it's more of a challenge, right? So I don't know. It'll be interesting. First room's answer was fifteen. And it's sad that it's in this exact same door. Um, yeah, that's really sad. Oh, finally you have arrived. Since I came to this country, I always learn new things. They hold contests in this city, as I say myself. Oh, that's that's her name. I read that it is I'll F in Excel. Okay. I mean, I really should have just gone with it. <laughs> like, I mean, if, if we want a gym leader that curses, like, I feel like Fantina would be, because she's the ghost type trainer, so of course she curses. Like, you didn't know that? If you're a ghost type trainer, you're just automatically destined to curse? Like, uh, jeez. Uh, anyways, oh, wait, we have Babe in the lead. I actually was a smart and have Babe in the lead. So, um, this is actually the very first trainer that's going to have a forcefully evolved Pokemon. Now, a forcefully evolved Pokemon, as you guys know, is a randomizer thing. And actually, um, a randomizer thing that, like, literally makes it so that guaranteed this next, this ace of the, the, the ace of this Mon is going to be a fully evolved Pokemon. Now, now, can it be Licky Licky? Is it? Is it probably Licky Licky? I'm like, actually, I'm pretty sure it's got to be Licky Licky, and then it'll like literally make my choice that I made great. Please, 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 game, please. Thank you, game. I love you. You're the best. Um. Thank you, game. <laughs> Making my choice look amazing. Woo! Um, I mean, to be fair, slacking would have been fine, too. Also, I never explained why I didn't choose slacking. Um, which is hilarious, because, you know, I got focused on the Wonder Guard. But, why I didn't choose slacking... Okay, well, jump kick... Oh, gosh. I forgot what its accuracy is in this game. Actually, I need to double-check that. Before I continue on my point, it's 90... Okay, yeah. There's a 95% chance that we live and a 5% chance that Dakon dies. It's fine. Um, So, backtracking. So, why I didn't choose slacking? So, this one's hard. So, slacking is a busted, busted busted one in and of itself it has a hundred and fifty uh hp and 200 not 200 150 hp and 160 attack so right then and there it's busted now the way that it complements itself and makes it so that it's not busted in the actual game is truant um allowing it only to be able to hit one every two turns it doesn't have that, so it's like it's just it, it, it's like a big legendary that just sits there and is really insane. Now, do I know what its uh, move set's gonna be? Absolutely not. Like, and that's gonna be the fun part. And what was it week two? Fighting, which we had a lot of coverage for, and a lot of not things that I didn't have to worry about when it came to fighting. Um, so that was definitely on my mind, but personally i didn't want to do it um i wish i could talk about more on why i didn't want to do it but i can't so i have to keep my mouth shut and it's got to be hard if i'm talking about slacking um because slacking is good pokemon um <laughs> i'll just move right along um endure but yeah, so slacking is just too busted, right, as a Pokemon. There we go. That's all that. Slacking is just too busted uh, as a Pokemon. Didn't want to use it. So, 
I'm going to speed up because of the fact that it's literally going to do nothing. And Brady's going to claim her first kill. I think it's actually your second kill. Oh, my gosh. Well, I'll... Oh, jeez. Woo! Anyways, Joy, you received the Relic Badge from the Cursing Gym Leader. Uh, that's literally the title of this episode. Ooh. So, good move. Did it say we have eight? No, we have we have three mementos. What the heck? We have three of them. Why in the world do we need? Let's freaking go, Brittany! Uh, yes, uh, girl, you're you're doing it, Brittany. You're doing it. Bye, Octazuka. I don't like Octazuka. I okay, so I don't like low accuracy moves. Low accuracy moves actually do trigger me. Because it makes no sense to have them, like, ever. Like, in terms of, like, in a team composition. Now, it's the only reason I have it in terms of with Babe is because Babe, it, does, it doesn't matter. Like, if Babe gets guillotined, we win. And we're just teaching guillotine and Babe, Babe does the same thing that a Wonder Guard Pokemon would. But, <laughs> I highly doubt it would happen, so... Um, yeah, so Cynthia gets to talk to us and is very happy to see me because we're not easy to track down because of our speed up. And she's happy that we talked to her grandmother because her grandmother is aging and unfortunately dying and decrepit. Um, and so, you know, mad at Cyrus for stealing Pokemon and we have to visit the sixth gym. And, you know, unfortunately, she also neglects to mention that we have a awesome rival battle. And, yeah, I don't know. So, here's the thing, right? We have Rival Battle Nick, I think. I always forget who I name a rival. I'm sorry. I, that's, like, a point. Like, it's a point of emphasis is trying to remember things and, like, keep myself together. But we all know that John's not good at doing that. So, uh, yeah, I just got to sit and apologize and just be like, I'm sorry I don't have myself together. I, no, I really don't, though. But... I believe that that's going to be a topic for tomorrow's episode. Um, if I'm not mistaken. No, it's not. Oh, my gosh. We get to talk about it. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm exhausting all of my content in one episode, and that's bad because I'm recording a second one. But, you know, it's it's fine. It's definitely okay um, <laughs> because it came up naturally. So, <clears throat> yeah, I, I learned that not being in the game for a while is not very helpful because you don't pick up on normal cues that most people would say and or should catch up on. Did we get surf and I was dumb and just didn't teach it? Oh, my God. John, Brittany would have loved that. Brittany would have been super happy if you knew that earlier, but that's fine. <clears throat> so, I have not been in the game for... Um, wow, has it been three years? Oh my god, it's already been three years. Or no, it's been two. It's been two. Okay, that makes me feel better. Um, I was like, if I have not been in the game for three years, then what am I doing with my life? Um, I mean, that's not a bad thing, honestly. I don't mind not being in the game. I actually enjoy being single um, for extended periods of time. And then I want to not be single anymore. And so I'm, I'm hitting that point of not the not wanting to be single anymore point. But the problem is that your boy does not know how to not be awkward. Like, I am very awkward. And, you know, we... I, I was supposed to text, Char, text Charizard this and everything that happened. Because Charizard was going to get some tea today. But, unfortunately, Charizard did not get the tea today. Because now everybody's getting the tea today. And, <laughs> and literally, it's the day... The day like, I'm recording this the day that this happened, and you guys are seeing this the day after this happened. So, it's not even that long ago that you're seeing this, which is just funny to me. So, 
I was dumb. Um, and you know, some people would be like, "Well, duh, of course you were a dumb." And I'm gonna be, I'm just gonna be like, whatever. Um, so context matters, of course, because I, we all know, John versus the week of the month is just pretty oof, and is not a fun. Sometimes can lead to binary episodes and sometimes can lead to just pointlessly not paying attention and not knowing what's going on in life episodes. So. I was at the tail end of my day, right? So. And, you know, for being at the tail end of your day, it's like, okay, it's perfect. It makes sense. And you're, you're doing things you're supposed to and good job. And I ask the POI, person of interest, uh, what I could get for them. Because I was like, hmm, well, maybe I can just get them food, figure out what they like to eat. Like, it was a smart play on my part. Because I'm like, figure out what they want to eat, figure out what they like. And it was an interesting way to ask the question because I'm offering them the opportunity at food. Now, mind you, I said, because I'm awkward, is there anything I can get you from the outside world when you're closing and I don't think, and I know you're not going to be able to go outside today? Like, I couldn't have said that any stupider, but fine, John, you know, put it in that way, like, try and be eloquent, uh, and so... My dumb dumb didn't catch it because he's like, I just need people to talk to. But I didn't, and he didn't say people to talk to. He just said, I need people. Like, and clearly it was, I need somebody. I need, like, a person. My dumb ass <laughs> goes, well, unfortunately, I don't think I can help you with that one. Because I was thinking more along the lines of food. I'm mad. I'm still triggered about that, by the way. Because, like, and so, to continue this awesome, phenomenal, beautiful moment of John's stupidity. Um, <laughs> I'm talking about this on video. This is just great. This is the, how awkward can John be? Um... <laughs> And then I realize, because the, he they he never parks where he parked today. Because the day before, we had talked about cars, and we were hanging out, and blah, blah, blah. Um, because I called his car sexy, and that's what you do, is, like, that's how you, you, you get time. And so, he never parks in the associated parking line, ever. In the six months that he's been there, he has never once parked there. And then... He parked next to my car. Because the day before... And, and there's and like, there's no way this is not coincidental. Now, mind you, it could be. And I'm just like, in my own little fantasy world. But, th like... It just doesn't seem like that, though, right? Because, like, if you never, ever, ever, ever in um, a long while of employment park somewhere, well, why would you just all of a sudden park somewhere? So, <laughs> I was sad because I was like, I was dumb and didn't, I wasn't, and I was like, I cannot believe I did that. Cause, again... Like, you don't need to, you're not supposed to have to be 100% straightforward. That was pretty straightforward. I literally texted Joy like two minutes after it happened, and I was like, Joy, I'm dumb, and I'm mad, and I don't know why I didn't pick it up. Yeah, it was like, <laughs> it was oof. It was very oof. Oh, we named it Mega. It's not even Nick, it's Mega. Speaking of Mega, you know, you're getting the tea right now, Mega. Oh my god, like. Like, <laughs> tell me how if that was in the comments below, because I I, I still feel it. It, it, it. it is definitely a dagger that's in the heart right now. My stupidity not helping. Um, 
Now, mind you, again, it's not really me being dumb. It's just... I don't know what I can blame it on, either. <laughs> I don't have anything to blame it on, which is why I'm blaming it on myself. Surprise. No, it's not like that's definitely an aspect of me that is just going to always be there, but... Oh, yeah. It was something. So... I don't know. I just... That was the thing, right? I don't know how to... I don't know. I... I don't know how to phrase it either, because I think I did well enough, but anyway, we're fighting Nick, so I, <laughs> we're fighting Mega. I keep, I just, I'm, I'm sorry, Mega. I really am. I like never, I actually gave you a name and I was actually really good. And then I just was like, well, I am going to for completely forget that you're my rival this entire way Thr through B Brittany, my God, don't do that. Now, some of you, while we have Brittany out, my, may wonder how in the world Brittany got them wonderful red locks of hair. Ugh. Anyways. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, previous conversation. So, and you know how we ended up allowing her to manifest and become her true self. Well, berries are important. Berries are important so what makes berries important well each berry has its own property when it comes to leveling up or are a stat so the four common berries i'm not going to remember them all that have the stat that we were looking for were are and that are dry are chesto berries oran berries wiki berries and i think Think figgy berries was the fourth one. I remember them all being pretty common and pretty, like, you know, like, perfect for each other. So, you have to get, and I was using primarily chesto berries and orange berries. And, of course, wicked berries, too. But you have to make poffins. And, oh, my God, poffins on an emulator? As much as I love my lotting, I'm never going through that again. Because... You have to make so good pop, so many good poppins, and it takes a bunch of time to do. It it was quite oof. I'm not even gonna. I'm like I said, not even gonna front. It was pretty oof having to deal with all of the poppins that needed to be made for Brittany. Now, mind you, I believe the max is 12 or 20 poppins. I don't remember what the max is, but we got it, and I was super excited because um yeah, it, it took time though, and it takes time for the berries to grow. And takes time for everything to kind of meld into each other. So each time, each 16 hours, I could get like 12 poffins out. Um, it just needed to be good poffins. And that was the difference. Because I would be getting a lot of stupid foul poffins. I don't, because going around in the my mouse, like with what I'm doing, it just does not work. It did not function the way it was supposed to. And so you get foul poffins that do absolutely nothing for you, and they're literally pointless. And um, we just got crit. Thanks, Lucario. You're the best. Um, so um, it was like it was a process. It was something that was intriguing for me to do. But what, like I said, it's it was intriguing for the time that I had did it. Would I ever do it again? No. I would just hack the BD stat. But <laughs> um, which I could have done, but I didn't. Because, again, it made more sense to do it right. Because why not? So, if we don't have any Oran berries or Chesto berries or anything of that sort. Which is kind of sad. Because I like those berries, but I'm never going to be able to utilize them. Never, ever, ever. Um, until I go plant some more or find some more in air other areas. So, yeah. Um, Carnivine, I am going to switch into Ernesto, because Ernesto be a good boy. And then the Swellow's back, and the Swellow is freaking faster. Um, uh, oof. I did not realize the Swellow was going to be faster. Oh, sh shoop, Nougats. Um, this is actually getting scary.
Is that Barry's ace? Like, is Mega's ace the swallow? I forgot what your starter even was to begin with. Oh my gosh. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no guard hits through that. Oh, I was. I forgot that no guard hits through that kind of stuff. That's. Unless it was just because it was a trapping move like Magma Storm and it was just that weird situational, like, moment. Also. If I'm like talking like this, it like I don't know why. So what, what causes the microphone to bl uh, flash green at you? Um, let me know because if that is my problem, then I gotta figure out how I don't get it to do that. Um, because as I'm talking, it's not going green at all. It's not doing any like form of movement, and it's kind of it's it is scaring me. Because again, I'm trying to fix my mic. I need a new mic cable. I want to see if the new if a new mic cable will fix the problem. Like, I, I, I really don't know what the problem is, but I really know that I need to really fix it. Um, Freaking poor, poor Rattata. Blah, 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 blah. Anyways, yeah, so I need to fix the mic because I feel like this episode is going to be really garbage because of the audio quality when I actually feel like it's great in terms of commentary. Uh, well, I will see you all in the next episode when we take on the sixth gym. And then we have a big bridged gap between the sixth gym and the seventh, or the sixth and the seventh. So we will see you guys then. I love you all and keep up the amazing work. Bye.